In this video, I'll show you how to model inverse variation. This is part three in the series. The question reads, the number of oscillations n that a pendulum makes per unit time is inversely proportional to the square root of the length L of the pendulum. And n is equal to 2.00 when L is equal to 85. Find n when L is equal to 115. So we've been given a point and the point is 85 and 2. And we're told that it is inversely proportional to the square root of the length L. So to model our equation, we write down y is equal to k, our constant, over the square root of length L. Now we have to find n when L is 115. I'll set my L as 85 and my y as 2, giving me 2 is equal to k over the square root of 85. Multiplying both sides by the square root of 85. This eliminates the square root of 85 on the right side. And on the left side, we have the square root of 85 times 2. So our equation becomes y is equal to 2 times the square root of 85. That represents our k over the square root of L. All we have to do now is substitute L is equal to 115 into here, and we find out the number of oscillations. Let's do that. This number divided by the square root of 115 gives us 1.72. Y is equal to 1.72 oscillations per second. Now, of course, they told us that instead of using Y, they wanted N. So keep that in mind next time that you use the letters that they suggest. And so there you have it. That is how to model inverse variation.